Hello everyone. I am Ashwin Kulkarni. Welcome you all in this quantum computing learning journey. I hope you all are doing great and everyone is safe and learning something new every day. Till now, we have learned basic concepts of quantum computing, then half adder implementations and many other things. And in last few couple of videos, we have learned about uh, uh, about the single qubit gates. So today we are going to start on the multi qubit gates and the first one in the list is uh, C0 gate. So you might have already seen this gate in the half adder circuit but we are going in depth of that uh, gate in today's video. So let's get started. So the first gate in the multi qubit gate list is C0 gate. What is C0? It is the controlled NOT gate. So you must be, um, you must have seen the NOT gate in the classical uh, implementation, but uh, don't worry. I mean, that doesn't have any uh, relationship with this, but the word itself is NOT and which is the controlled NOT gate. So the word defines that you can, uh, you can do the um, opposite operation in a controlled manner on some particular qubit. That's how it means. So that's why the name is controlled NOT gate. Now, if you correlate it with the classical computer, then it is exactly similar to ZOR gate in the classical computing. So what was the ZOR gate? Uh, if you remember, then, uh, then the, the, the ZOR gate was when your two uh, input bits are different, then only your output is different. That's how ZOR gate uh, we have defined. So for example, your uh, one bit is so one bit is zero one, then your output will be one or your bits are zero one zero, then your output is one. This is how uh, the ZOR gate is defined and the when your two bits are similar, then your output is zero. So the same, same output we get when we apply C0 gate on two different qubits. So how is it? Let's uh, get started. So the C0 gate is two qubit gate as I already uh, explained. Uh, since this is a multi qubit gate uh, session, so but the C0 gate involves two qubit gate. There are other gates as well, which involves three or more than that gates as well. Now, uh, if you uh, if you want to check the uh, matrix uh, matrix representation of the C0 gate, then it looks like this, where you you have four by four matrix. Since this is uh, going to be uh, performed on two different qubits, hence it is. 4 cross 4 matrix. In last videos, last couple of videos, you have seen those matrix of X, Z, X gate, Y gate or those, those poly gates, right? Those were 2 cross 2 because those uh, were, we were applying those on a single qubit. Uh, but this is going to be applied on 2 qubits, hence this, this is 4 by 4 uh, matrix. You can simply uh, remember like this. Now, how it is created that uh, actually doesn't uh, matter much because the actual implementation of the C0 gate and its mathematical formation of this matrix is not going to be uh, useful. But this, the, the matrix itself is useful to perform some operations on sub, some input qubits, right? So you might have seen this this plus symbol or, or this representation many times in in the uh, in the half header circuit also you have seen this so uh, in this in this this is this is the full uh, this is the full um, c not gate which involves two input qubits one is controlled cube control qubit and other one is target qubit now here q0 acts as control qubit and q1 acts as target qubit what does it mean so control qubit means the input or the value of the control qubit defines what will be the uh, value of target qubit so irrespective of the value of the target qubit based on your control qubit the target uh, qubit value will get changed that's how it is how it, how it is going to change we are going to see here so if you are going to apply C0 gate on 10, okay? So 10 means your target, uh, sorry, your control bit is one and the target qubit is zero. Now based on the mathematics, uh, so 
uh, one zero is defined in the uh, four plus one matrix as the first will be zero zero, then this will be zero one, this is one zero, and this is one one. So we are we are applying um, C naught gate on on the qubit state as one and zero. First qubit is is in the form of one, and the other one is in the form of zero. Now. Uh, once you do the mathematics on this, so matrix multiplication on this, so this is your 4 cross 4 matrix and this is your 4 cross 1 matrix, so your output should be 4 cross 1 matrix based on the simple uh, matrix multiplication rule. You can uh, later do the, uh, do the simple matrix multiplication or if you want to do that here, so what you need to do uh, simply is uh, this row will get multiplied with this column which is 0 because this is this multiplied with this uh, 1 multiplied with 0 is 0 anyway then this row will get multiplied with this column again where 1 multiplied with 0 is 0 again then this row again multiplied with uh, this column where uh, your 1 into 0 is 0 again and this row will get multiplied with this column where this one and this one gets multiplied to uh, give it output as 1 so what does that mean he is your output state is 1 and 1 so how this happened because your control qubit is 1 and target qubit is 0. So when your control qubit is on or when your control qubit is set to 1, your target qubit gets flipped. That's how C0 works, simple as it is. So here your controlled qubit was 1, uh, was in the state of 1. So your target qubit gets changed to uh, 1 from 0. So 0 to 1 and that's how it is. Now simply uh, if if i can uh, if i can show you the table of the c naught gate here you can see first your control qubit control qubit is uh, 0 then and target qubit is 0 then your output will be 0 when your control qubit is 0 and target qubit is 1 then your output is 1 why because your control qubit was not set to 1 hence target qubit was did not get fluctuated right now when your controlled qubit is 1, then your target and target qubit is 0, then your output is 1. So that means when your control qubit is set to 1, your target qubit got fluctuated, now got, got um, changed to opposite, uh, uh, opposite value and which got changed from 0 to 1. Again, when your controlled qubit was 1 and your target qubit was 1, your output is 0 because your target qubit got changed from 1 to 0. And if you remember, this is the exact same table of ZOR gate in classical computer. When your both uh, when your both uh, states or both input bits are same, then your output is zero. And when your both states are different, then your output is one. That's how it is. So this is a simple, very simple implementation of C naught gate. Now there is a very interesting property of C naught gate which is phase kickback that we are going to see in the upcoming video. So till then I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, and it's very very simple but we are going into deeper and deeper of uh, basics of quantum computing. So I hope you like this video if yes please do share it with your friends and uh, family and whoever is going into this topic. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.